In this video, we're going to be covering crossover games, how they perform, and the issue still with macOS gaming. So if we take a look at this initial test, which is Just Cause 4, we can see here that, um, you know, even with the settings set pretty much to medium and pretty much everything off and low, we still kind of get these massive stutterings, kind of 20 FPS. So one thing you'll see from not just my content, but anyone reviewing crossovers content is that you have very limited um, ability to show Steam overlay, which is the easiest way to show FPS. So in these games where it's not supported, you could really see that kind of the gameplay footage um, is probably around, I would estimate it's like 20 to 15 FPS. So even then, I also think the brightness is really low. You can see I tried to turn it up. Um, but overall, I'd say, I mean, if you really want to play through this game on the Max, um, M1 Max MacBook Pro, you could, but I, I just would <laughs> rather do GeForce Now or something to that effect, because um, this is barely playable. The road is walled off. Can you get over it? Okay. Where to now? Those lights across the valley? Head towards them. That's a big tower. Espinosa promises it will change the world. No more tornadoes or hurricanes. And most of Solis believes him. Project Iapa won't be a problem after today, Mira. If your plan works. It will work. The next game we're going to take a look at is Max Payne 3. So from last year's M1 performance, it was about 30 FPS on the MacBook M1 Air. I will state that this is just a crossovers test and uh, something about the state of Mac OS gaming that you want to keep in mind is that there's also a different way to do it called Parallels. Um, so this is a virtualization of Windows 11 ARM, but unfortunately, um, you know, both these cost money, Parallels being a subscription service and even crossovers now moving to the yearly subscription model. Um, and so kind of you're in the state in Mac OS gaming where you, if you really want a game to play these Windows games, you have to almost pay for both of these softwares. 
um, because sometimes cro crossovers runs better than parallels and sometimes parallels runs better than crossovers. Um, so we can see here in, um, in the max pain settings, uh, Steam Overlay is working for some reason in this game um, and we're getting around 25 FPS. Um, and I think in parallels, you get, in M1 Max, you can see some videos online, they get about 60 FPS um, with kind of different settings. So one thing I find is that crossover sometimes has like a darker display, um, but I don't know. I, I almost feel like this is also kind of unplayable at 30 FPS and choppy. Um, definitely probably more playable on Parallel 17. Rodrigo. I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. Ah! Where's Bronco? this up more than I already had. Ah. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize. was on the wall to the left of the gate. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Next game we check out is Crisis Remastered. So here's some of the settings I did, which is pretty much tried to bump most graphic things to can it run Crisis, which is the high setting. Um, and then some things left on medium so we could see how it performs. And surprisingly, um, you know, the M1 Max is a capable device. It just needs kind of some things to figure out why some games run better than others. Um, Cause you definitely see here from the external camera that you know we're probably getting around 45 to 60 fps during this whole gameplay footage um 
So definitely a cool aspect is yes, this game can run on um, and it can run Crisis and some of these settings bump to the highest settings that they could go. Um, so this game, I would say, you could probably play through this whole campaign on the M1 Max. Tech. You got me? I read you. Give a sit rep. Something took a swipe at me on the way down. Uh, I'm caught up in the trees. Okay, Aztec. Hang tight. Help's on the way. No man. Up here. Come on. Let's get to Aztec. hell happened here? You hear that? I don't like this, man. Chester, take care of his equipment and cover our tracks. Nomad, move out to the LZ. Got it, boss. I'm on it, Prophet. So lastly, what we're going to see here is that, um, you know, of the other games that I was testing, such as Bioshock Infinite, this runs on parallels, but on this crossover's version, um, you know, this is just the state of macOS gaming. It's 
some of these games are going to run better on crossovers, some of them are going to run better on parallels, and you're kind of stuck in this in-between place of not knowing which one to um, run. So uh, that is something to kind of consider. If, the, if some people are posting on my comments, like, hey, they're trying to replace their desktop and stuff like that, like, I personally wouldn't do it. Um, or at least not sell it and at least you could parsec into you know remote into your gaming desktop um, but like things like Splitgate, which is a halo clone with portals really fun game um, doesn't launch doesn't run the vac um, which is the anti-cheat so you'll get an error running there and then other games just simply don't load such as warface um, so kind of that interface which is also built on the crytek engine so yeah, definitely some compatibility issues here. So to wrap up on my take, I would say that, you know, depending on who you are for this device, if you, it's, it is primarily geared towards having really good performance on Final Cut or even DaVinci Resolve. But for people who like playing casual games, I would not recommend it. Maybe even get the lowest spec M1 Pro um, on the 14 inch or 16 inch, um, but definitely not bumping up to M1 Max. Definitely seems to be the case here. So. Um, yeah, probably just done with my testing here. Um, I have a work computer that's a 15 inch MacBook, so I really don't need this Mac. Um, I was really hoping that this could be a replacement for my G15 or at least something I would take on road trips. Um, but it looks like I'll be taking that as well. So um, let me know in the comments anything you want to see. Otherwise, have a good day. See you guys in the next video. Peace.